Hello lightning strikes, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about creativity and specifically creativity when it comes to healing, deliverance, um, and contacting and dealing with the metaphysics of creativity. And so this is for my artists, my self-proclaimed artists, my YouTubers, my songwriters, my DJs, my writers, my people who have to come up with fresh ideas on a daily basis and um, are coming to share what they receive and what they have built with what they received um, with the collective. This is for you guys. So let's, um, as my videos go, I like to go slow and so you will not understand this if you're skipping okay so if you skip somewhere else and then you come in a comment saying joy i don't agree with you i'm going i can the comments you can i can tell you didn't watch the video so it's very difficult for me to answer your questions when the questions typically are already being um, answered through the video if you watch it from beginning and to end but um let us proceed so a lot of people think that there's only angels and demons okay everything it's just like these are the two opposing forces they are definitely angels and demons but there are also things called spirits spirits are like spirit of joy a spirit of peace a spirit of love a spirit of happiness a spirit of self-control a spirit like um it can also be a spirit of depression a spirit of anxiety a spirit of hatred a spirit of negative thinking a spirit of like just um all varying types of spirits and so this is similar to thinking that there's only humans and dogs no there's also doves and there's also birds and there's also ants and there's also leopards and uh, insects that all have different spirits inside them as well to even go a step further i believe that there are also elemental spirits so spirits like from trees a spirit of a flower a spirit of the ocean, a spirit of rocks, a spirit of all these different types of spirits. Bad spirits attack humans and good spirits help humans, similar to demons and angels. But the problem with demons and angels is that demons used to be angels, so that's, yeah. They are just choosing a different way of enlightenment um, in their own way. <laughs> but creativity, the reason I'm bringing up spirits is because creativity is kind of like a spiritual, spiritual thing. You won't typically create something that's not already in your field. It's a thing that you've watered. You can't create something from, it's not from nothing, it's, it's coming from your awareness of what is happening in the collective. Now, creativity is not just limited to making a YouTube video or like how you dress or the songs you make or the poetry book you're writing. Creativity is also how you structure your day, how you structure your phone, how you structure yourself when you are choosing to engage with work. How does your work environment feel? Like the creativity around it how does your aura feel so for me my creativity shows it's like i don't want my aura to feel like most people i want it to feel very deep i want you to feel like i'm in your room speaking to you and shaking your head when i'm talking to you and that's part of my creative expression creativity is a pang so when you experience someone else's art. Let's say you, you're you you're driving your car and you see, this is great. This is perfect. This is exactly what, a perfect example. Let's say you're driving your car and then you see a uh, Tesla Cybertruck. And you're like, holy crap. What, in, like, what designs like, did this guy make? This is so lit. 
or you're like, oh, this is disgusting, or like, what kind of what kind of idiot would make a car like that, or that that's just a uh, clunky or too big. These things pang into you. You feel them. So also creativity works as a way to snap your consciousness out of the veil. So some artists, who some who practice divination and some who practice not or worshiping the Holy Spirit, they're able to access melodies and lyrics that come from a higher realm and so this typically these people want and are targeting to impact and paying into people and so the goal of creativity is to pay for somebody to look at your art whatever you created and be able to be so deeply inspired that they go and do their own thing that's that's the height of creativity when it's like whoa that cyber truck is so cool. I need to now own my own company or I want to work with Tesla or it's moving you into like, like magnetizing you to the, the business, the outfit, the way they hold themselves, the creativity of how they design their days, the creativity of how they speak, right? All of our different accents and our pacing and our breathing spaces, these things are all our creative choices. I could talk like a British person and make you believe that this is who I am. But that's, that's, that's that creativity that's also working. Creativity also increases your frequency. So we're, now we're going back to the good and bad spirits, the spirit of joy, the spirit of depression, whatever it is. Creativity... Even running your business, if you have a business and you're just like not super committed to it, running that business can also work to lift your frequency if you're coming from a creative place. Now, I believe every business model works. Any business model will work. Any business model typically will work. It's just about what you truly believe towards that business model. And every business model can be improved. Okay, there's no end to how perfect your business is can be presented into the general public. You can continue always, always, always evolving and always increasing. If the actually in the statistics, it says that this is something I had to carry in and ripple into all my life. To maintain your business, you still have to grow at 9% every year. So that's maintenance. You still, maintenance is still growing. And so for, and likewise for me, it's like my life, whatever I'm doing, maintenance is still growing. I can't not grow. And so when you are creative and if it's coming from a really, it's coming like almost, I like the way Rook Rubin says it as it's like, it really is an act of worship to God. The creativity is definitely something going on metaphysically or physically where you are going to lift your frequency to the point that certain spirits can lift and come out of you um not assuming that you have spirits but like we all are i, I, I mean i'm living on this spiritual planet uh, okay these demons <laughs> they're everywhere right and we're all victim to that lion okay right and bad spirits and even if you don't believe in spirits just be like talking about negative mood I, at the end of the day you're watching me because you want to improve my, your mood right so it's not even if you don't believe in that realm you can just change it for like um the energy and the quality of the fabric of what you're experiencing um so you feeling moody or upset or also growing into a higher feeling a higher consciousness where you are more in love with the present moment than ever before so that i think this is where i'm going to just get personal I no stats around this okay um i think that when you are creating you are creating love and so that feeling of love i talked about in other videos the feeling of love has saved me from sleep paralysis i used to have 
horrible sleep paralysis. I mean, thousands of nights worth of sleep paralysis, like straight up just like straight up demonic. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, like really bad. And so, but it all stopped when I started holding, I never gave this energy fear anymore. I didn't have a fear of going to bed or fear of like the dark. I just said, you know what? I'm holding a frequency of love. I'm holding love so strong right now. And they just stopped messing with me because I didn't have no food for them. And so likened wise, uh, 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 my frequency wasn't a good place for them to be. It just, you know, it's just kind of like moving in with your, like an, a relative and they like the room hot. Jesus Christ. They like it so hot. And <laughs> it's just not comfortable anymore. Right. And so, um, Creativity, I think, also creates this feeling of love towards your project, um, which also adds to your overall mental well-being. Um, you feel better. I understand better myself, and I understand what I'm doing. I understand, like, I'm pushing in my je ne sais quoi into the world and it may like people not may not like it or agree with it or feel offended by it but that they're completely entitled but i'm still going to push that energy out i feel focus right your focus also increases when you're choosing to be creative and choosing to have uh, a relationship with creativity in that way and also you learn the value of deep work and entering into flow state this is imperative. We need flow state. We want flow state. We care about flow state. It needs to happen. That feeling, that high of just everything just feels like it's like easy. It's coming out. This is the words are falling out. The melody is falling out. The you're writing your course, it feels like it's falling out. You're writing your essay, it feels like it's falling out. You are going through the day, but it just feels like a flowing day. It doesn't feel like this is this time, this is this time, this is this time, and this is this time, right? And so creativity is a way to heal. And creativity is a way to remove and um, not make you a target to the different spirits. And so um, thank you so much for watching. I hope that video wasn't too creepy because I've been talking about the spiritual realm a lot lately. I'm not, I personally, I'm not even used to talking this much about the spiritual realm because I just kind of like keep what I see to myself and but it's been kind of weird it's gonna be it's it's been great it's been great because i felt like i feel like a load is off my chest bro like all the information i'm just like accumulating and i'm just i just have i finally have a place where i can just share what i'm seeing and it's not like some stuck that's also what creativity does like it does it unstucks you and gets you out of this like hoarding right like a lot of us just consume content and be like oh i want to watch what other people are creating i'm gonna watch. i just was watching netflix and i couldn't even i couldn't even do it because i was like i can't i can't sit here and watch other people's work i want to be the one creating work i don't want to create my own scripts and my own videos i don't want to watch other people's videos or coming up with new ideas or new ways to create. I don't have a desire to just only consume, consume, consume. And so that's also a thing. It's like maybe instead of interacting with all these different platforms or interacting with all these different, um, yeah, I'll just say platforms. As the observer, you're now entering as the director of the creative experience and so you remember I said that you can also earn, learn to be creative through your conversations so this is like really hits home because a lot of people do not think they're creative and they're like they separate it's like unless you paint you're not a creative and that's why I intentionally used examples of being a car designer or being a hairdresser or being uh of creating just your morning routine these things are also choosing your creativity, adding your je ne sais quoi, your thing. Actually, I'll make a video about that. But I'm literally writing it down like that. How to have je ne sais quoi in your, li in your life. Because that je ne sais quoi, guys, that's what makes you you. 
what's the thing that makes you you and everybody doesn't want to be themselves and i'm just like what then who's gonna be you then who's gonna be you you have to play your role and so you know um part of it maybe is like you know you don't have a je ne sais quoi but like you don't even have to just i've seen people in a black shirt have that certain as black shirt black pants and freaking air force ones have they're just je ne sais quoi about them the thing that makes them them so anyways i'll show you my lip gloss um my lip gloss right now is nyx but a gloss all the colors are insane in insane insane and um so thumbs up like comment subscribe um share what you think about what i said and um you guys are amazing you guys are beautiful you guys give me the, the sweetest messages and you make my day so happy and lovely i love you guys so much bye